Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh, and thank you so much for watching. Today is another episode of our Vintage Levi series, and we're going to be discussing what's the difference between an orange tab and a red tab. Let's get into it. So in past episodes, we've discussed at length the Orange Tab line. Uh, all the different pairs of jeans and jackets and other products that fall under that umbrella. But what we haven't done is really talk about the specifics of what is different about a pair of Orange Tab jeans and a pair of Red Tab jeans. Now what's interesting about this conversation is that there are models of Levi's that both have a red tab version and an orange tab version and we have two of those models here today one is the 505 and the other is the 550 now since the 505 is the oldest of these models we're going to start with the 505 if you remember from our 505 episode you'll know that the 505 was first manufactured in 1967 the orange tab line didn't start until 1969 a full two years later what's unique about the 505 is that it predated the orange tab line and later was added to the orange tab line and then when the orange tab line ended in 1999 the 505 has continued as it's a very popular model of Levi's now the red tab version and the orange tab version that I have here today are generally speaking the same age they both date from the early 80s maybe the 70s now as far as I can tell the 505 was added to the orange tab line somewhere in the late 70s if not the early 80s now the red tab is the obvious distinction here versus the orange tab but then let's look at the back tags while this one is faded you can definitely tell that there is red print on the back on this tan patch versus the brown print on the tan tag now let's take a look at the front of the pair of jeans you'll notice that you have a watch pocket with two rivets and then main pockets with two rivets on both sides this is in contrast to the orange tab which has one rivet one rivet here and one rivet here but this last rivet is actually simply sewn if you're keeping track there's six rivets on the red tab version and five on the orange now another difference between the orange tab 505s and the red tab 505s is belt loops here we have two in the front three in the back and now here's another red tab that has four on the back and two in the front and that's likely because this is a larger size now the orange tab 505 has four in the back and four in the front and these are basically the same size as those last ones there are obviously more belt loops for larger jeans but it does appear that the red tabs had a smaller number of uh, belt loops versus the orange tab for whatever reason now turning these jeans inside out you'll notice the rivets are silver this is probably a cheaper nickel or uh, s steel type rather than the traditional copper brass color type now the red tab 505 actually still also has the same colored rivets but later models would actually go back to the more standard brass copper colored rivets now in regards to the 505 it's typically believed that the orange tabs have a narrower leg and therefore are a little bit tighter around the thighs than the red tabs are in my experience this is generally true though since we're dealing with vintage jeans they are often worn differently and uh, shrink differently because they've been washed differently so it's kind of hard to compare the fit of any given orange tab to any given red tab now another notable difference is the orange tab denim tends to feel lighter weight than the red tab denim uh, and this makes sense if the red tab was to be a bit more rigid and work-like the orange tab being more fashionable 
you don't need such a heavy denim. Now to be sure, the 505 certainly has had changes throughout its own time as it's manufactured in different places and manufactured a little bit differently. Uh, that's why I'm trying to get jeans that are roughly the same age, so manufacturing standards should be relatively similar. Now the other model we're gonna talk about is the 550. Now the 550 appears to have originated with the orange tab and later carried on as a red tab and maybe even simultaneously. Here we have an orange tab and here we have a red tab. Both men's jeans, and the way you can tell that is right here, you'll notice that the waist and the length are both specified on the back tag. And because we know that women do not particularly like to broadcast their waist size, Levi's did them the courtesy of leaving it off the tag. You'll notice that there is no waist size and the length only says medium. In order to find the size of a women's jean, you'll have to address the interior tag. Now just like the 505, the 550 has a single rivet watch pocket and five rivets all together on the front, as opposed to the Red Tab 550, which has the two rivets for the watch pocket and a total of six rivets on the front. And the back tags between these two jeans differ in the same way. Dark brown on light brown, red on light brown. Now here the internals also follow the same line. We have nickel or steel rivets versus the copper rivets we saw in the newer 505s. And we also see the difference in the number of belt loops. With the red tab, we have three on the back and two on the front for a total of five. But for the orange tab model of the 550, we have three on the back and four on the front. This could be for several different reasons. It could have been more likely that you were going to wear a belt with the orange tab versus the workwear where you might traditionally wear suspenders. I don't exactly know, but that is a significant difference in the two jeans. Now often I see on resale sites like eBay and others, people mislabeling Levi's jeans, uh, making a men's jean into a women's jean and vice versa. Uh, but it is important to know there are differences. Uh, the 550 men's tends to be a little bit more exaggerated, and this is pretty much for all men's, but exaggerated in the crotch, uh, whereas women's jeans tend to have a little bit more at the hips and thigh. Now, if you're a woman and you fit into a men's 550 and you love that style and, and it fits you great, perfect, go for it by all means. Uh, but for resellers, it's important to note because that will make a difference for your buyer. In summary, there certainly are differences between orange tabs and red tabs. Now, whether or not you prefer one or the other is a decision you have to make for yourself. And it's certainly interesting to see these jeans as they grew through the years. Now, if you have a 505 in orange tab and red tab, let me know what your favorite is below. And if you have a pair of 550s in orange tab or red tab, let me know which one is your favorite. I'd be really interested in knowing. And beyond that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with this Vintage Levi's series. And we will see you guys later. Peace.